Hi, this is Alex with Eichel Camp from North America, and today we're going to talk about digging a hole. So, we've talked about rigs before. Rigs are great. You want to get in, you want to dig a deep hole, uh, I strongly recommend using a rig when you can. Sometimes, uh, either we don't have accessibility, we don't have the budget, or we're in a place where that groundwater table just isn't very deep, and that's where we're going to use a hand arm. So, today we're going to talk about one of our biggest sets, the uh, heterogeneous soil baler set, Michael Camp. Take you to a depth of seven meters or about 24, 25 feet. You throw this in your truck, you go out to the site, uh, and this is where you want to dig a hole 20 feet, 15 feet below the water table. Uh, when we're looking at below the water table, that's where these augers don't work great. That's you're going to have your hole collapsing. That's where these well casings actually come into play. So it comes with seven, uh, yeah, seven of these bad boys that'll each advance about a meter at a time, where it will allow you to capture that that soil sample as your hole is collapsing. So sometimes our customers will ask us, well, which augers come in this kit? And the answer is yes. <laughs> Basically every auger that we make will come in this set ranging from, uh, we have combination style auger, we have sand augers, uh, we have stony soil, the riverside, also called the bucket auger. We have the, the, the spiral auger, uh, as well as a stone catcher. That's because we want you to be able to auger through anything, <laughs> anything and everything when you're out in the field. We have uh, both seven centimeter and 10 centimeter. The seven centimeter is for augering inside of your casing. The 10 centimeter is for augering to be able to in place that, that casing. So a lot of the time you'll dig with the seven, so pre-drill your hole to make sure you can get down. You'll widen it with your 10. Once you start getting to your, your groundwater table or where your borehole is collapsing, that's where you'll add your casing uh, and advance it further. So the, the, the name of the kit is the Baylor kit, right? It's a it's key part, but then what helps advance it once you get into your unconsolidated or your, your, your you know, your nearly fluidized geology, it's the Baylor set here. So we have a 75 centimeter length, another 75, another 75, and this one has a diameter of 63 millimeters, and this one 50. So what these will do is when you get to the bottom of your hole, uh, your casing, they can actually extend a little bit below it. And what they'll do is with water, you'll use them and kind of move it up and down. And that helps fluidize that sand layer or, or your, uh, your layer that is, is, is collapsing and it'll collect inside of this. And then you can use it to actually extract that. And as you're doing that, you create a void below that space and your casing can actually advance. What you'll be able to do is you'll, you'll be able to get your undisturbed samples or, or as you go down, your disturbed samples with your failure or your piston sampler that's also in it, the set that's if you're looking for undisturbed. But then a lot of the time, you'll have the perfect hole to place a well. And in subsequent videos, you'll see just that. We'll have Corey and I out here. Maybe we'll be able to grab Noah from the warehouse as well. We're gonna dig a hole. We're gonna place a monitoring well here at Eichel Camp North America. And then from there, we're gonna add some divers. We're gonna add some modems and our new water quality as well. So stay tuned. I'm, I'm really excited to get out and dig a hole.